Welcome to our prayer service. It is so great to gather with all of you today. We gather today as a community to prepare our hearts for the Triduum, the holiest day of the year. We have spent the last 40 days praying, fasting, and giving. Over the next few days, we will hear scriptural passages about the Last Supper, the death of Jesus, and his resurrection on Easter morning. As we enter into prayer today, let us be mindful of our shortcomings and allow the examples of Jesus to guide us in becoming better version of ourselves. Let us not fall asleep as the disciples did. We will pray and keep watch. We will grow out relationship with God and work to help bring about the kingdom of God. Let us begin as we do all things to Christ. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, as we enter to the holiest day of the year, let us open our hearts and minds to your word. May we be reminded of what it means to be of service to one another and to follow in the footsteps of Christ. By your grace, may our lives be filled with prayer, faithful election, and a willingness to share with others so th that our hearts are ready to greet your risen Son this Sunday. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus is anointed at Bethany. John chapter 12, verses 1 through 8. Mary took a pound of expensive ointment made from pernard and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. It was almost time for the Passover, just six days away. Lazarus, whom Jesus raised from the dead, along with his sisters, Mary and Martha, invite Jesus to dinner at their home. While Jesus was eating, Mary came into the room holding a very expensive jar of fragrant ointment. She poured the ointment on Jesus' feet and dried his feet with her hair. Judas is scary, complained that Mary was wasting money. Jesus did not agree. He told Judas to leave her alone because she was anointing his body for burial. Jesus was foreshadowing his death on the cross. Judas to betray Jesus. Matthew chapter 26, verses 14 through 16. Judas Iscariot went to the chief priest and said, What will you give me if I deliver him over to you? And they paid him 30 pieces of silver.
Judas Iscariot was one of the disciples of Jesus. As a treasure for the group, Judas kept all the money and paid for the items the group needed. Jesus said he was a thief because he stole money. Judas thought nobody knew, but Jesus knew. Jesus knew because he was not just a man. He was also God. Sometimes after Mary anointed Jesus' feet, Judas went to see the priest in the temple. He wanted to know how much they would give him if he helped them arrest Jesus. They decided that 30 silver pieces was a good price. Preparing for Passover, Matthew chapter 26, verses 17 through 25. Where will you have us prepare for you to eat the Passover? It was the first day of Passover, and the disciples asked Jesus, Where do you want us to prepare the Passover meal for you? Jesus said, Go into the city and find a certain man, and tell him the teacher says, My time is near, and I will be celebrating the Passover at your house. The disciples followed Jesus' instructions, and they prepared the Passover meal. During the meal, Jesus said to everyone at the table, One of you is going to betray me. Jesus knew what Judas was doing, but no one else did. Everyone was shocked and began asking Jesus, Is it me, Lord? Jesus washes the disciples' feet. John chapter 13, verses 1 through 20. He poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with a towel that was wrapped around him. Just before the Passover meal, Jesus got up from the table, took off his leather garment, and wrapped the towel around himself. He filled the basin with water and began to wash the feet of his disciples. When Jesus got to Peter, Peter didn't want Jesus to wash his feet. Jesus told him if he didn't wash his feet, he couldn't be a part of what he was doing. Peter then let him wash his feet. After Jesus finished, he put his outer garment back on and said, If I, the master, wash your feet, you must wash each other's feet. A servant is not higher than his master. We will now remake the washing of the hands.
Lord's Supper, Matthew chapter 26, verses 26 through 29. Take, eat, this is my body. And he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood. During the meal, Jesus took some bread and blessed it. Then he broke it and gave it to his disciples. He said, take this and eat it. This is my body. Jesus picked up the cup of wine and gave thanks to God. He gave it to his disciples and said, This is my blood of the new covenant. It will be poured out for the forgiveness of sin. I will not drink it again until I drink new wine with you in my Father's kingdom. Then they sang a hymn and went out to the Mount of Olives. We will now reenact the breaking of bread. For we, with humble hearts we place our needs before God. For the church may we all come to a deeper understanding and love for the gift of Jesus' body and blood in the Eucharist, which was first shared with his companions on this night. We pray to the Lord. For the church leaders and all those called to serve in ministry, may they be a living witness to the gospel and humbly serve those in their care. We pray to the Lord. For those receiving the East. <coughs> For those receiving the Easter sacraments this Saturday, may they experience the joy and peace that comes of the risen Christ on Easter. We pray to the Lord. For those who are suffering in our world, world may God's people serve them so they may find help hope and comfort in God's love. We pray to the Lord. For those gathered here today, may we have the strength 
to stay alert and be faithful followers of Christ during these holiest of days. We pray to the Lord. For those who have gone before us, may the Lord lead them to the fullness of the resurrection. We pray to the Lord. We lift all these prayers and the ones we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Loving God, in an outpouring of love, you send down your only Son, Jesus, to lead us home to you. May we be open to your message over the next few days and use Jesus as a part of selfless service to help bring about the kingdom of God. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. You may now return to class quietly. <laughs>